the matter is in the hands of the judici of the of the courts from what I understand or is going to be placed in the hands of the court. I don't think the integrity of the judiciary or the reputation of the judiciary is before the eyes of all well meaning and right thinking South Africans. I don't think it's compromised in any manner whatsoever. Turning back to Judge President Shope, I don't think broadly speaking the mere fact that allegations against him have been made is here or there you see we've been saying to the public as chief justice i don't have the power to interfere and i don't if people want me to have the power they must speak to parliament to amend the constitution and to amend the judicial uh, service uh, act to give the chief justice the power or the superior courts act to give the chief justice the power to intervene when there are allegations in any court i don't have that power and i'm not going to just to try and look powerful and responsive exercise the power that i don't have because it's against the doctrine of legality so we should be pleased that the south african public though the matter took long to be finalized we should be pleased that the Judicial Conduct Tribunal sat, judges testified, judge president testified, we are being held accountable as judges. The public would, be, would have been uh, uh, and, uh, 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 entitled to be worried had the matter been swept under the carpet. It was never swept under the carpet. It's out in the open. It took as long as, um, as the Judge Motata matter it took as long as the judges Preller and, uh, and Poisson and others matters. Those are the exceptions. Only three matters. The many matters that have been referred to the Judicial Service Commission were almost promptly finalized. So it doesn't affect the reputation of the judiciary at all. Well, let's take you.